Hi everyone, welcome back for another tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to create a glass. A glass but in 3D. So we're going to File New and I'm quite happy with these settings. 1280 pixels by 872 dpi. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get some lines like so or shall I say some guides okay and basically the reason why I'm doing this tutorial is because previously I've done one with a, a light and uh, I had a problem with my mouse and my screen recorder but in here I'm just going to do different thing but this is exactly the same technique so first of all I'd like to apologize for the previous video so now I'm just going I just grab pen tool and I'm going like I'll go like so and I'm going like this if you have any problems using the pen tool uh, I've got some tutorials that explains how to work with the pen tool so I'll go like that like so like so like I said before it's exactly the same sort of thing as that light I've created before. But I'm not happy with this, so I'm going to just to undo. I'm going to zoom a bit more. And there we go. Looks quite cool. And now I'll just give it a bit like so. And there we go. Okay, then we can come here to View and Clear Guide. And we've got Pattern. So now we're going to, into 3D Panel. And we're going to click Repose. Well, not 3D Panel, 3D Menu. Just above. And Selected Path. Bear in mind one thing. This is a, a CS5 Extended Version only. As you can see, there's something here, and it's already in 3D. But we can do something better. So we're going to we have the bend in here. So we're just going to click like so, because basically it will be the axle of um, what we're going to create now. And now we're just going to the X angle, and we're going all around like so to 360 and now let's change this because I made a mistake it's far left one and as you can see but there's a whole imagine you trying to get a bit of champagne in here it will it would all go down so I just go into depth I'll just make it zero and there you go we have a very very cool flute but as you can see right here it's not perfectly round but there's a way to go around the situation so we just go to the mesh quality and we go to best we click OK and look at this perfectly round bear in mind one thing when using 3D functions in Photoshop or any other program or application Bear in mind that it may take a bit of time to render depending on your machine. But this is pretty much it. There you go. Very simple. And I hope I helped. And uh, I do apologize for the, the other video I've done creating the light. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye for now.